Okay, we're uh, going to do an example problem on variance, variance analysis. Uh, if you're using the Financial Managerial Accounting for MBA's second edition book, it is problem 2230 on pages 22-28 and 22-29. Uh, but I do have the problem here written out for you. So we have Big Dog Company, a manufacturer of dog food, produces its product in 1,000 pound batches. The standard cost for each batch consists of 8,000 pounds of direct materials at 30 cents per pound, 48 direct labor hours at 8.50 per hour, and variable overhead cost based on machine hours at the rate of $10 per hour with 16 machine hours per batch. The following variable costs were incurred on the, for the last 1,000 bag batch. Uh, direct materials of 8,300 pounds costing 2,378 were purchased and used. Direct labor was incurred for 45 hours costing $450. Variable overhead actually incurred was $225 and our machine hours used were 18 hours. So the first thing we want to do is let's determine our actual and our standard variable costs divided into our direct materials, direct labor, and variable. Okay, so our actual cost should have been our 2,378 and we're going to divide that by our thousand bags produced. So we're, our cost was $2.00 2.378 cents uh, per bag and our costs our standard cost should have been 8,000 8,000 pounds divided by a thousand bags and then we're going to take that times our 30 cents per pound cost so it should have cost us two dollars and forty cents okay so we're going to have a favorable variance there because we're spending a little bit less on direct materials than what we had budgeted. Our direct labor should have been $450 and we should divide that into our thousand bags. So our actual cost were 45 cents for direct labor per bag. We actually incurred 48 hours divided by our thousand bags okay times eight dollars our eight dollar and fifty cent rate and so our direct labor standard cost should be forty cents forty point eight cents per um, bag it actually turned out to be forty five cents per bag so we're gonna have an unfavorable variance there our actual variable overhead should was actually we incurred two hundred and twenty five dollars of variable overhead cost divide that over our thousand bags and it was twenty two and a half cents per bag our standard is our sixteen hours machine hours divided by a thousand bags and we take that times ten dollar our ten dollar rate so that's sixteen cents per um, bag is what our actual costs were. Our total cost then, total actual cost per bag, and I'm going to use the auto sum feature, and our total actual cost per bag variable were three dollars and point zero five three cents, and our standard rate should have been two dollars and nine six eight cents per bag. So we have a unfavorable overall variable um, cost variance here. Okay, so we know what our what our total variance is, but now we need to determine more in more detail why we had those variances in direct materials, direct labor, and direct overhead. So we're going to use our different variances. So we're going to start with our material price variance. Okay, so we're going to isolate how much of our materials variance had to do with the price of the materials that we used. Well, our formula is our actual cost, which is 2378, and we want to subtract from that our actual quantity that we used. So we used 8300 pounds. We're going to take that times our standard price of 0.3. So we're in this case, we're trying to isolate how much of that variance has to do with the price of the materials. Okay, 
So our actual cost is 23.78. It should have cost us 30 cents per pound, and we use 8,300. So we're going to use that actual actual quantity that we used. So we come up with 112 variants. Okay, and this is actually going to be a favorable variance. Okay, because we used our actual cost was less than what it should have taken us. It should have cost us $2,490 at 8,300 pounds and it cost us $2,378. So we had 112 variants. If you want to flip that, that formula, you sure can. You can go actual quantity times your standard price first and then subtract the actual cost from that and then that makes the, the minuses a little better. Okay, so again, our our materials price variances are actual cost of 2378 We should have used at 8300 pounds, it should have cost us at 30 cents a pound, should have cost us 2490 So we actually had $112 favorable variance. That could be we bought, you know, we got a deal on the materials, we bought cheaper materials. That's when you investigate more into explaining what happened there. Okay, next let's look on how much of our variance has to do with how much quantity of material we actually used. So in this case, we're going to use start with our standard price, and our standard price is 30 cents. Okay, we're going to take that times our, in parentheses, actual quantity. So how much did we actually use? Well, we used, again, 8,300 pounds. We should have used 8,000 pounds so we know we use more than what we should have so that's going to be an unf unfavorable variance we're going to take that unfavorable variance of 300 pounds times our 30 cents per pound and so we're going to end up with a 90 dollar unfavorable variance okay so we it because we used more materials than we should have, and that cost us $90 more. As you see, we net out, we actually netted out at our $22 um, positive variance for materials. So we may have used a lesser quality, uh, quality material, we used more, but we got such a good deal in the price that it made up for that. Then, of course, you have to worry about the quality of product, etc., that you end up with. Okay, now let's go to our labor rate variance. And again, I think this time we're going to do the actual hours first. So we're going to say we want to figure out what, how much of our rate um, variance had to do with the cost of labor. So our actual costs were $450. Okay, it should have taken us at those amount of hours. Well, we use 45 hours, and we would take that times our $8.50 rate. And that's going to tell us that we used, our actual cost is going to end up being higher by $67.50 than what we had planned. Okay, so if I type this out here, I can do it this way. We had equals 450 and we subtracted 45 times $8.50. Okay, and then which gives us <laughs> didn't want that. We wanted the quote there, didn't we? There we go. So then it, this equals this is going to equal 450 minus our 382.50. So that's going to tell us our actual costs were more than what it should have taken us. So that's going to be an unfavorable variance. So that had that's our variance that had to do with the rate that we're paid. Okay, so we actually paid more than our 850 an hour. Our labor efficiency variance is going to be our standard rate okay, times our actual hours minus our standard hours. So we're going to isolate here. What we want to do is isolate our um, how well we used our labor, how efficient our labor was. So we keep our standard rate the same. 
we take it times our actual hours. Well, we actually incurred 45 hours. We should have used 48 hours, so we actually were, that's going to be a favorable variance. Okay, so we used three hours less than what we had planned. So then, you know, we would carry that on. We're going to take our 850 times our three hours, and that's what we're going to get. So I'll do the formula up here again of 8.5 times our actual hours, 45, minus our standard hours of 48. Okay, so that's going to give us a favorable variance. So our favorable variance of $25.50 has to do with we used our labor more efficiently than what we had planned on. This may be a case of we hired uh, better workers and therefore we're more efficient but our overall favor, um, variance was unfavorable. Um, quickly then we'll do our variable overhead spending variance and in this case we're going to take our actual cost which was $225 we're going to subtract our actual hours so this is our actual machine hours of 18 times our standard rate of 10 so we know we're going to have an unfavorable variance because our by $45 because we used more than what we had planned and then finally our variable overhead efficiency variance is going to be our standard rate of ten dollars times our machine hours our actual out machine hours were eighteen it should have been sixteen hours so we're gonna have a twenty dollar unfavorable variance there so our overhead was definitely at an unfavorable amount again the key to doing these um, is this is an easy calculation as you can see but what we do is the, the key part is to be able to explain what caused those and that's what any good manager is going to be able to do as you know your business the more you know your business the more you're going to be able to explain these numbers and give a good answer and then fix whatever problems you might have okay so this is the type of variance analysis that we use and thank you for your time